Yo, what's going on everyone? Guiding Lady here back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be going over a mission here in Assassin's Creed. So this mission's actually a little bit difficult, a little bit tricky. One of my favorite missions so far in the game, actually. It did take a, quite a while and it definitely does have a lot of steps in it. So if you guys don't have a lot of time in order to complete this mission, you may want to save it for later. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm going to walk you through every single step. And this is actually a pretty massive compound. I'm sure there's another way to complete this. I'm sure there's numerous different ways that you can complete this mission. But in this one, I just want to show you guys how I managed to get it done. So we're going to use these windmills or these little wheels as reference to where I am. And I'll show you guys how you can actually get started on the first step to get into the prison. So in order to get started, guys, this is the route that I took. I went over on these canopies. Now you're going to find some guards here. You can take them out if you want. You don't actually have to take them out. So I'm going to fast forward through the fight because I decided just to go and take everyone out. There is a door located right here. That's why I decided to take out all of these enemies. However, after defeating the enemies, you find out that the door is locked and you have to find another way in. Now, if you want to kill these guards, you can. I suggest trying to be as stealth as possible because once you start fighting, it's going to attract a lot of enemies in the area as well. So I would hold off on fighting for as long as you can if you're trying to be stealth. Now from this area, what you want to do is make your way around the right side. Now there is actually a hidden chest which is located in this exact spot just underneath. So if you want to go get that chest, you can. It's located in between these two fences. And you can very easily just climb in there and get it, but you will have to defeat all of the enemies for that. Now if you guys do not want to defeat any enemies right now, you just want to sneak in. This is the route you can take, and you should be able to slip past all the enemies. So in order to actually get up the prison wall, what you will need to do is come over here to this corner. It's located right next to this wheel I was telling you about at the beginning of the video, so you can use that as a reference. Now, once you do get to this corner, you will actually be able to climb up from this exact spot. So you'll notice there's these little veins here, but you can't grapple onto those, but you can actually grab onto this little flag area. So there's these small notches in the wall, which you may or may not have seen. And if you run right up that section, you can actually go ahead and get into the prison. Now, this is the first step of the quest. This is only step one where you have to infiltrate the prison. So once you guys get on top of the wall, it will trigger the next step, which is to actually go and free the guy inside. So I will show you guys how you can do this as well. So I chose just to sneak all the way around. Now, I'm not going to make any cuts or anything like that as much as I can because I want you guys to get the full guide. So I ended up going down here, but you don't actually have to. This door is going to unbar, but then it will be locked on the other side by a gate. So you can come down here if you want just to confirm it, but the door will be locked and you'll have to find another route. So very quickly, guys, I'll show you guys the way I took. So you're going to come back up here. You can stay stealth if you want, take on the enemies. It's really up to you. So I came up top to get a better vantage point, see exactly what was going on. Now, I suggest coming up this scaffolding here because it will lead you to a courtyard. And once you get into the courtyard of the prison, you can actually go ahead and find the prisoner. This is the actual route that you want to take. And if you don't want it to, to, to deal with all of these guards at once, then you can just follow the same route that I took. So from here, you'll notice as you look down that there is a courtyard. Now, at first, I thought the prisoner was going to be walking around in the group of people. But unfortunately, it's a lot more complicated than that. So what you want to do is make your way down into that courtyard. That is the right way to go. But don't rush down there because there will be a bunch of guards down in the courtyard patrolling. So what you want to do is come on to this little scaffolding, this little railing, and you'll notice that there's the big guard. You don't really have to worry too much about the small guards because if you get in a fight with them, you can take them out pretty easily. And they will not alert anyone else. It will only alert the guards in the courtyard. So what you want to do is wait until you get a clear hit on the big heavy armored guard because he's actually kind of hard to defeat. So if you can hit him, take him out in one hit, it will help a lot easier. So I'll show you guys exactly what I did to get this one done. Now, due to how many people are in the courtyard, it's actually pretty simple. You don't really have to take it slow. You could probably rush through it if you really wanted to, but I was trying to just be as sneaky as possible. So the best method, in my opinion, is to go ahead and take out this big guy first, but the mechanics of the game kept screwing up and not allowing me to jump off this ledge, and that ended up alerting all of the people around me. So I highly suggest just trying to stealth this guy. Now, because I did not end up stealthing out that guard, everyone around me started coming after me. So this fight did take about a minute or two. And then I wasn't able to sneak it through the next section either, unfortunately. So the easiest way to get this one done is going to be to stay stealth as long as you can. But if you can't, it's not going to fail the mission or anything like that. So once you guys are clear, you've got a 
the courtyard locked down, you will notice that there are some other guards, but they won't have access to you. So from here, what you want to do is actually come into this hallway. There's going to be a bunch of enemies in here as well. So just be on the ready for that in case they notice you're there. So there's going to be about four or five more guys you got to take out. And unfortunately, they noticed I was there too soon. So I just try to stay stealth if you can, and then just come down this hallway. Now, all these doors, all these little prison cells will be locked shut, and that's fine. There's no way to get inside of them. Now, there will also be some locked doors that require a key. Don't waste your time going around trying to find it because it you can't find it. It's going to be on the prisoner that you're going to rescue. So if you want to get through any of the locked doors, you can, but you will have to wait until you find the prisoner because he will have the keys on him. So don't waste any time running around trying to find that. Make your way down this hallway, take out all of these guards, and then we can finally move on to the next step. I do apologize for this video being so long, but this is just a really long mission, and I want to make sure that we don't miss any steps in this because this mission took me about an hour to get done because I was just trying to figure out every little step involved and look for any secret chests, things like that. So as you come in here, you will finally be done with all the fighting now for at least a little bit. And you will find what you think is the prisoner, at least what I thought was the prisoner, back in all the way back in this room. So any stragglers, any guards that are left, you can choose to either kill them or you can just remain undetected so you can go back to sneaking. But at some point, you will have to take out these two guards in this little like bathroom area because this is where the NPC is that you have to talk to. Now, this actually isn't the prisoner. At first, I thought it was, but he just ends up telling you where the prisoner is. But luckily, it's not too much further on past this point. So make your way back into this corner. Take out any enemies that are still chasing after you. Talk to this NPC here, and he will let you know that the prisoner you're looking for is actually located even deeper in the prison, basically as far down as you can go. Now, after this, you will want to just go ahead and look up because the next room that you have to go to is actually hidden inside of this little hallway. So if you come up here, you'll notice there's actually a whole new section, and there's going to be a whole bunch of more enemies as well. These ones aren't as hard to take out because you can easily just stealth them. And they won't they shouldn't notice you're there or anything like that. And then you can just use the throwing knives or anything at your disposal to get through this mission. Now, luckily, we are almost done now. So if you've made it this far, you're almost done. The prisoner shouldn't be too much further after this. So you can actually go through these guards. You don't have to stealth them, obviously, but I chose to. So get through these guards, and then you should be able to get to the final room. Now, this is where you will start to see the doors which are locked and require a key. It will tell you to start and like look for the key, but don't like I wasn't able to find it anywhere. There, it's a possibility that maybe there's a second key somewhere, but I wasn't able to find it anywhere. The only way I was able to get my hands on the key was by rescuing the prisoner, and then he ended up having it on him. So it's possible that there is another key on one of the guards somewhere, but it's very, it's just highly unlikely in my opinion. So from this point on, what you want to do is just simply go straight to the prisoner, and we're actually almost there. So from this point, all you have to do is actually go downstairs, and you, there's a door that you have to unbar. Once you do that, you should be able to rescue the prisoner. But after that, you still have to get out of the prison, so we're not done just yet. So follow this route, and you should be able to get to the prisoner. There's a few different ways that you can actually get to him, but this is just the way that I took, because it's the way that I found. So if you come down into this room, you may or may not find some drops and some ammo, and then you'll just find another locked door. Now, if you want, you can actually jump uh, on the scaffolding that it's right next to me, and you can make it to the room that I was in. But if not, if you don't want to go that route, just come down the stairs here. And you will notice that there's another little room down here, and this is almost where the prisoner is. So just one more door we have to go through. So come over here into the back left corner, and you should see a door which you can finally actually unbar. It doesn't require a key. So just go ahead and make your way through that door, and you should see the prisoner on the other side. So that's pretty much it for this mission, guys. After you rescue the prisoner, all you have to do is just simply walk out. There may be some guards and things like that along the way. There may be some secret doors that you can open with the key if you choose, but that's all up to you. I just want to show you guys how to complete the mission. So hopefully this helps you guys out. This was definitely the hardest mission so far in the game, but I really, really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments of the game so far, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.